Welcome to the August 26th, 2021 meeting of the Chaos Value Working Group. And our agenda is posted in chat. Uh, we'll also share it for those of you enjoying us on video. And I will be me so that I don't make all my edits as Chaos Community, which I've done. Please add your name to the minutes. Um, All right, uh, let's see. So we, Bernard, are you facilitating this one? Yep. Uh, All right, so I will, I will turn it over to you. Thank you, Sean. So first thing in the agenda is metric release fees, which is on September 1st. Uh, we have already released two metrics and the uh, third one was fair in the list. I am not sure what is the progress on the fair metric. So whether we focus on it as releasing like uh, to release or just do it as a normal pace? Um, I suppose it may, I mean, if, unless there's other items on the agenda uh, that I don't see, I, I guess there is, take yeah. a look at the fair metric. Is it like nothing right now? Uh, uh, I think you had an action item to put some text around it. Yep, sure didn't happen. Okay. So, so we probably aren't gonna start and finish a metric in one session. Yep, um, I agree. But I um, so maybe maybe we yeah uh, maybe we well, just work work on our own piece and once it is done then we can put it into a like continuous release yeah i think that's a good idea there's um a, a, a couple other action items yep so I, uh yeah sean did not do that um, do we know? I have a quick you, question first. Sorry. Do we know yeah. if the two metrics that we have released, did we um, like put the checklist in the issue and make sure there's like an issue in translation no. and all that? No. The checklist oh. was decided yesterday that we are going to put, I, I think it was decided yesterday or day before yesterday that we are going to put it in all the issues, uh, okay. all the release. So we are, I haven't put it. So I'm, I'm assuming it's not there. Okay, because yesterday in the DEI working group, that's yep. pretty much what we did, you know, was uh, okay. was to just yep. go through and make sure that everything was ready for the freeze. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, let's just do that right now. Yeah. Um, it's it's chaos. Where is the temp? Is the template under governance or metrics? Under uh, metrics. Good question. Like metrics. Uh, resources go to the resources lab folder that's pretty intuitive actually metrics template and the and checklist the, no 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 it, no, it was, was the checklist, checklist. checklist. Go well, back right and, yeah yeah uh, now copy, go to the raw and copy it and put it over there let's see all right so Maybe at the end, copy this. Uh, is it is about the rolling. issue is created to collect comments about the roll, rolling. You would, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Academic open source project impact. I knew I left that text there for a reason. And, and this metric, there is a you, you link, link is at the. Uh, well, this says no. It did, if you scroll it down further, like uh, in the next comment, it was the link was there. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay, there we there go. There is the link. Yep. There you go. All right. Okay. See, I'll release candidates. Yes, metric college. I think. Um, should, do we just go through and put X's in the markdown or? Uh, I think I've gone through all of these things other than I'm not sure uh, 
uh, whether it's in the translation or not, but the rest of the things I have already followed them. All right. So translations, I don't think I don't think anybody's done that because I think we decided that I, Tuesday. I think uh, uh, no. I, I I recall. Let me check in the translation. Is the metrics added to the website automatically by Kevin or? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I have created the issue for one of the metrics. We uh, we can check it in the. Can you open the next tab and uh, check in the cross community? Uh, yeah, we link to it in that issue. Oh, okay. Um, that was the link you just copied. Was the link to their website? Uh, web, website. Oh, was it a web? Uh, yeah, uh, I was like. Uh, it right. should be GitHub, but we have posted a website link, so that yeah. that is even a self check. Okay. And I know I I, rec I believe we've announced it. Um, uh, let me look at the translation issue. Oh, uh, Sean, you may want to fix that formatting. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I put my X in the wrong place. I got that all. And this, like, it looks like I'm, I'm, I'm like adding spaces. That, I don't know what I'm doing. Markdown is hard this morning. Oh, I see. I'm not uh, optional headings that have no content were removed. I'm just going to assume we did all this. And I, I realize I've, that the space that I left up above is probably going to be a problem as well. Because I just added the X instead of overwriting the, apparently there's an empty space in the template. Message in the metric markdown file. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. Metric name. Yep. I cross checked it already before. Images the... included using markdown. Yeah. Images of at least one empty space. Yep. I mean, I think given that we were given the checklist, I'm just going to assume we did a lot of this stuff. If new focus area is created. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, it is there it, because right. uh, we created the academic focus area when we were releasing this. So. All right. And sure, tables within metric are converted to an image. I don't know that we had any tables. Uh, Matt, no, we don't have any table in the metric. All right. And then I can. Yep. I can get rid of this, right? Because this is what was there. Uh, yep. We can. Uh, yes, you can delete that. All right. So I'm going to update that. All right, that's one, okay. one and, down. Uh, well, we don't see it, uh, any issue on the translation like, created. So we, maybe we need to create an issue for the translation. That, uh, yep, info. yep, github.com, chaos. Is it, is it, what is it, is it called translation? I assume. Yeah. Transla yep, translation. Obviously I've gone in here and done this, not at all. So, but the I'm just going to go. I'm going to okay. So all this is, is interestingly, translation is already done for this metric. Okay, somebody was kind enough to do that for us. Yes, so we'll, we don't. <laughs> we'll yeah. accept. We'll accept that help. Yes, um, that is. A, I looked into this uh, particular link, and the translation is already. There. I'm posting a link over there. So we we have release notes, which I assume doesn't get a checklist. But then there's yeah. Um, Adding academic value focus area, adding a focus area to, that doesn't get a checklist either. What's the other metric? There's another metric we released though, right? Yes, organizational influence. That was in the other one. Oh, yes, there we go. This one, okay. This one. Uh, okay, well, it is not tagged as a metric release yeah, candidate. So. So Sean, can you give me the like maintain a right for this repo? Because normally I maintain this, oh. but I don't have a rights to oh, assign okay. the tags and all these things. Well, heck yeah, because the more maintainers that I have, assuming they're trustworthy, uh, are the more people can do stuff. Yeah, all right. Manage, let's see. Okay. So, uh, what's your what's your GitHub username? 
Pinot ki ahuja. Oh, I have to, I guess I have to invite teams or people. V I N O D O D K K Ahuja A H U J A. Oh, A Ahuja. All right. No, Vinod K Ahuja. It's a Vinod. Vinod K Ahuja. Yep, there you, there you go. There's some other Vinod Ahuja who took your. Yes, that's why I have to add the middle name to you. <laughs> okay, so now. Um, now you are able to administer this repository okay. and do all okay. the things. It's, you have to okay. accept an invite, which GitHub sends in the form of an email. Okay. Um, so once you do that, you'll be able to maintain okay. it. But yeah. annoy, annoyingly, yeah. it does not let us uh, do that until. I accept um, it. <laughs> yeah, until you accept it. It's it, to me that makes no sense, but. I guess. Okay, I got the invite, so I'm okay. going to accept it. And... So then there was a there was a second metric that we yes. had. Uh, uh, we so, have okay. to, uh, this one. Add the, yeah. We have to add the candidate, and we have to add the checklist to this one. See how I left that open. Very smart. I know. College. All right. Uh, and this one doesn't. The, the link oh, is on the next comment. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. It's organizational influence. And I have to move out there to get the link. Uh, I hope you don't see my pop up messages in the browser. No. Nope. That's good. It's my biggest fear right there. <laughs> because you yeah, share, share I always, the only browser, right? Yeah, right. I'm only sharing the browser. When I share my screen, yeah. I share the screen that messages don't pop up on <laughs> for that very reason. Okay. Um, okay, so. We've got the issue. This is the issue. So that's kind of self pull request or uh, it's in the repo. Do we know if we have a translation on this one? I'm just checking it. Give me a second. In the future, I imagine we can go through these checklists. Yes. As we finalize a metric, but when I was finalizing this checklist was not finalized, but we were working on it. So I had all the ideas and I did most of the work. I cannot say like all the work, but most of the work when yeah. I was releasing this. Yeah. I know we follow the template images. There's not a foot. I don't know if we have any tables in our metric, but we'll have to convert them to images if we do. So organizational influence is also translated. Oh, it is. Okay, good. I'll check yeah. that box. I think well, there was a box on the last one that I hadn't checked. I don't remember what it was. It might have been translations. Metaphor. And then do we release, is this text part of the template? Yeah, it is. Yep. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. All right. So now they're all done. And let's let me just go back and look because there was one unchecked on the last one. And I think it might have just been translations. Yeah. And there is an issue there. So I just didn't uh, go back. And... Did you say that? I thought you said that. Did you say there was an issue in translations for this one already? Yes, both yeah. are both are release are already translated in this. All right. We have to check. Do we have any comments or so far? I don't think so. Any comments are there? I'm just regularly monitoring this. So. Okay. Oh, okay. That needs to be added. Yeah, we can. Um do that right now, yep. um, actually. So we do that in the markdown and then 
the next time Kevin does a migration, it shows up in the website. Is that right? And we just added the markdown. It will be picked automatically by the website because uh, uh, yeah. Kevin is pulling from the markdown file. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's what I remembered from our. Yeah. Uh, this is GitHub citation or... citation guidelines for software. I assume they're general for software, not just metrics. Yep, yep they are for the software. Okay. Do we need to add it to the filters or something? Add myself. I contributed to this metric. I put my name in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very much. All right. I can't commit some actor. Can, master. Can, can you go up a one a little bit? Do we need to add it to the filters or somewhere that uh, tools There's providing no the okay? Um, so 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 I, I think uh, GitHub is also providing a tool as a citation. So will that be a tool providing the master? um let's go to that link? Um and see what it actually says. Elizabeth probably knows. Do you know off the top of your head? Well, you probably didn't memorize. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there, but I just switched. Something must have popped up on another screen. So it's, this is it's not a tool. It's really yeah. just a, a guideline. But, you know, I think yes. in, in some ways it's a tool. It's because but when you go to the github can you go look at this image apa that is providing how to cite a particular thing oh yeah yeah okay so cite this repository and then you get the citation like you just copy that citation and use it in your citation manager or somewhere you're getting oh. an apa styler or a bib text format so and you can pretty much implement it for the auger too yeah. All right. So let me. All right. Say so something other than software, which is what this is. I don't know. This looks like more work, though. I think we're just going to make the authors the chaos community, right? And so this is for a repository. Yeah, I think it's, it's so, in my mind, it was more about like facilitating that citation process so that the, it can be measured and the impact yeah, is greater. Yeah. Yeah. So it's let's, a, let's experiment with this if, since we have some time, but I'm editing this, I've added, so I think uh, um, you have to upset. create a file. You have to create a, that uh, CI file and then add those citations over there. All right. So I have to commit changes to a patch and then create a pull request. I think we should change our primary branch to main, but I will let others deal with that. Really, it wasn't very hard. The hardest part for Augur was when I realized like documentation didn't need to be update, updated, needed to be updated. And so I quick had to update those links. All right, so Vinod, once you've accepted, you're able to merge that pull request. Yep. And then I'm curious, like if we go up to the actual repo and add a file, um, if we wanted, it's not software. No, you have to create the citation.c ff file. Uh, yeah. the, you can look at the cita yeah. citation in the capital dot cff small. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Edit. You have it insert an example. Insert an example. Uh, go to click that insert an exam insert example. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah. Now you have. Uh, uh, so that was that was actually like I I did copy and paste it, but um, yeah, they probably you just need to uh, fill those uh, columns. Authors. Maybe, maybe chaos community. Family name. Your your. Let's see. I wonder if we can do it without any like um, like if we don't like if this isn't required. The given names. I'm gonna try it without that and see what happens. And do we have a metrics release number? I would guess no. for the next. You mean for the next release or the or current? for current release? Yeah. Uh, I think it's 2021-03. I'll check though, it's on the website. That sounds right. Yeah, so that means we have to add it in the checklist for the release one that we update the version whenever we... Uh... Yeah, well, we're, we're just experimenting with this right now since yep. we created yep. it. Um, I'm just curious if this works without yeah. all of the additional... Like, okay. I don't know why my, like on some projects, my browser automatically does the DCO and on others it doesn't, I don't understand. It happens with me too. Uh -huh. Okay, let me merge it then. I can't get the release history page to load on the chaos site. I have, I have merged it. Can you look at this now? Uh, in the main browser, where was that APS or APS? The repo. Can you go right. to the instruction where we can see those citation options? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, let's see. This wasn't that one. At a root repository, you, and then uh, where is this? Automatically link cite this repository all right so maybe i have oh there it is cite this repository oh there you go see uh, yeah, two, three, yeah. Two, one. nice but it is it, it, it is not showing the name it's i think showing well, the I, year. I, we have to add that uh value like name value oh if you go if you go to this uh file citation.cff yep. you don't have a name over there Oh, so it, there's a family name, but it's not uh, just name, you know, first or last name or anything, something like that. So if you, if you, go, for, if you go back to that uh, template uh, template and see how they are naming the repository. Yep. I wanted to see, so probably family names. Given. Uh, given. So that there's dashes by, I say given names, title, there's no title. Did I take, did I take title out? No, you kept title. Okay. Um, yeah. But it's the given name I think that you want. Okay. Uh, I that would be the first. Uh, yeah, given name. It'll be chaos. Uh, yeah. Okay. Given name can be. That's your first. So given name is first name. Yeah. And family name is last name. Yep. So when. So would our last name be community and our first name chaos? <laughs> um, uh, how about... Uh, Unless we want to list every person that was a contributor. No, no, no. That would be a lot. We are citing the repo, not even any individual, because it's a collection of... Uh... Yeah, I agree. So this would... So let's see chaos community i would say given name chaos and last family names community okay that works for Maybe. me you can always yeah, change it later yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and title is chaos value working group which makes perfect sense all right that'll create another pull request with my DCO failing for you are you are not adding this line sign off by Sean Goggins. That's why it is failing, I guess. 
Yeah, I, I feel like the browser has historically done this for me and it's just recently like stopped doing it automatically. So maybe there's something I have to reconfigure. I have updated now. Can you take a look at the value? Cite All right. Cite this repository. Community. Community. Comma uh, C. C. Chaos is C dot. Chaos is abbreviated as a C. So we have to reverse the order. Chaos dot community. C dot C. So the family name should be Chaos and given should be community. Uh, family name should be. How about um, we make chaos community the family name and, and given a value? value? Yes, value dot c. Then it'll become value with uh, dot c. It'll be yeah. Be oh wait, wait a minute. No, we want, I want to reverse that then, right? Yeah. Oops, I, this is the man. This is harder than I thought it would be to do for like a collective. It, I always have trouble with organizations that publish things when I cite them. And like that. All right, let's try to commit it. Create another pull request after I do my DCO sign off, which I obviously am not adept at doing. Okay, I am. I'll fix that. Okay, I will merge the put request. Mm. It's done. Now check the value. Value working group, chaos community. I did that. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I feel like I, does, is that, is that, is, yeah. is that backwards? That's backwards. I thought we did it. I think, no, I think it's right, but like the it, it's not going to ever um, expand the chaos community. I guess right. So no, it's right. comma sp. So, so maybe we should the first first, first name is always pointed. So if you uh, remember, Sean, whenever I can cite your article, it'll be Goggins no. dot uh, Goggins s right. dot. But I think, I, don't we want chaos community to be the family name and value working group to be, so it'd be chaos community comma V, isn't that what we want? Yes. Yeah, actually that makes a lot of sense. Yes, chaos community dot value. Value should be the first name and yeah. Because otherwise it's like, I don't know, at least chaos, yeah. 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 At least, you know, chaos community, Or yep. do, do, maybe just value WG is fine. Yeah. Um, I see. I don't see how to sign off here. You can just type. I think type the line signed off by. Yep. In here. And then your email address. Yes. Yes. Signed off by. Sign, signed off by. Signed off as a dash, right? Yes. Off dash by. Try that. No, <laughs> you, you have not provided dash in between by off. Oh, dash by off. all right. Well, <laughs> I'll just keep trying this again. Let's merge that one and see if the working I've, group gets signed I've, correctly. Computer. I've merged it. I merged it. Can you look right. this now? Yep. So yeah, many. yeah. Chaos community. Okay. Now it's working. If you look at the chaos community dot. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's. I think that's this citation that is makes a, a lot more the, sense. Chaos community comma v v is the like first name value working group. Chaos okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe we now give it as example for a journal meeting and share it with others for adoption. What do you think? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I'll add it to the Good. agenda right now. Yeah. We got the citation. Yay. All right.
All right, so we did that. Um, any any updates on the open RIT stuff? I, I don't see them here, no, so I'm going to assume no. no. I don't know because uh, even uh, Jacob has added a link in the very top to discuss something, but since he's not here, so I have no idea. Can you see the comment, which is the credit. I have no clue what he wants to share about this. So. Oh, so okay. It is about citation or something, but I was not clear like what. Yeah, was. well, let's allow him the chance to explain that. Yeah, yes. It's um, certainly worth looking at in the future, but not without yes. any prior knowledge <laughs> yep. of uh, <clears throat> people who did it. Yep. So. Um, we have one more item which uh, Nikos was supposed to work on, but I don't see Nikos in the meeting. So, oh, this is I don't see the action. Oh, Nico to draft documents, yeah, Hub projects. Okay. All right, so, uh, so all right, so so we've talked about that. Yep. Uh, how about uh, this metric process? Model. Uh, met yeah. Metric model. So I think I think um, the, I met with the app ecosystem working group on Monday, and then the the uh, metrics modeling working group on Tuesday, yep. and between the two of them, I think what we think metrics models, we have, a, we have more clarity about what they are, yep. which, which is they would be aggregations of already developed chaos metrics. This is slightly different than the way that the app ecosystem working group has approached it. They've done a goal question metric hierarchy, but they have never fleshed out the full metric. Right. Um, the idea for metric models is sort of starting to lean towards I have a, a question that I want to answer, yeah. uh, and, I, and I had to leave for family reasons of, at the end, but we can call them use cases, we can call them uh, mock models. Yep. Uh, there's a few other words I think that, that came up, but essentially they are collections of metrics that are commonly used together. And really, I, I think we want to start by looking at how people are implementing these metrics and practice practice right so the question was uh, that was came last time in this meeting was like should we develop this model and then give it to the metric model or should we just give them because they leak this context which value working group have like so, these are the metrics that can be added to this so it's a kind of a chicken egg question i th i think <laughs> that yes. so that the the re the i would suggest that we might look over our metrics and see if we think there are so for example like these academic metrics yeah. in my view these are clearly ones that are likely to be used together yep. and because they are likely to be used together um that is likely a model but yep. a better so, so it's like and this would be sort of on our part a speculative model because no one's mm -hmm. actually deployed that set of metrics in a yes. tool. What would be really, so if we have other metrics that are, we know are commonly deployed in tools, we might just look over our metrics real quick to see. Um, so like the note would be, um, A model, a collection we call a model, or a use case <laughs> we call a model, etc. And then, um, and I think this, you know, used in practice. So I think when, in many cases, we're defining metrics, we don't 
look back and define how they are used in practice. So it would be, I think, helpful to do that. Um, uh, so I don't know if we want, right now, I guess, do you wanna, we could go out and look at. So, so maybe we, right now we just have one, this academic uh, impact metric. So maybe once we develop a couple of metrics, then we can look back at it again. Okay. We, we could also like, um, okay. So if metrics is just a, I was just thinking like under focus areas, Go to the Excel sheet, which uh, we have for the metrics. You can have excellent, a glance of all excellent. that. Excellent. That's an excellent idea. Metric tracking sheet. Yep. So labor investment. It's more on the organizational side. I mean, I, 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 can, I, I can anticipate the project popularity can be a part of that so, uh, model that because uh, how popular is the academic practitioner who has developed a software or something or like how popular is the software that they have developed. So that would be part of the academic metric model. Yeah. 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 So I think I have this in Metric popular with it. Uh, project popularity. Project popularity. New popularity was in it, but I felt like there was another word and I couldn't remember it. Would that be also part of this researcher reputation that we were talking about? Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I for, see. that is yes. a model. For a researcher reputation yes. model, the current metric project practicality is likely to be included. Metrics currently in development for researcher reputation purposes are also likely to be included. I think that's basically what we said. Uh, it'll be like metrics currently in development for uh, academic for working or focus area are likely to be included in the research application. Say that again. Metrics currently in the development of academic focus area will be likely to be. Uh, Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Yep. And I think when I look at this, when I look at this spreadsheet, um, I think understanding labor investment and project velocity, well, velocity are things that are likely to go together. Yep. Um, and organizational skill demand and job opportunities two, now these two are harder to measure yep. with um tools because for a wild number of reasons but we could also propose a model um that's a um you know project value you know um uh it would be a, maybe a model, something like project valuation. So the labor investment to date uh, is one dimension of project valuation. So, and then project velocity and popularity could be other dimensions of a project's valuation. If you go to the issues in our uh, GitHub, there mm -hmm. is a one uh, issue I've created, uh, go down a little bit. Uh, Adding academic post. Uh, no, pro, uh, last one. Pro, uh, proposed business readiness rating. Uh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
So can you open this? I feel this is more as a model rather than a, uh, a separate metric. Now, okay. since we, I, I borrowed yeah, this I, from uh, Wissemann's uh, paper, which is yeah. like they've pointed out and they've assigned a weighted average to different functions, which can be our matrix. And from that, we can develop a some kind of a model. You know, I actually am I'm going through an experience right now that I think that will be I think will be highly valuable for actually fleshing this out. I'm working with a couple of organizations to make Augur uh, easily deployed by DevOps folks. Okay. Um, and I think through that process, the I mean, it's I'm never going to make Augur a business because I don't need that kind of problem. Um, yeah. <laughs> but but like uh, as a model, of, we can uh, yeah. get the idea or inspiration from this model and adopt it to uh, that particular need. Yep, yep, that makes total sense to me. So yeah, I think this, this is a really good, clear picture in my mind, anyway, of what a model does or what a model should be for. Like yeah. this right here. I, think I yep. totally agree. So let me put that in. Oops. And this is and this is the business you call it business readiness. Uh, yeah, business readiness rating. Like if you want to see whether an open source software is ready to adopt it in a business in a situation or in an organization, these are oh, the check that oh okay. Uh, edit, paste, and match. Yeah, it's so funny. It's like if control I do it. Control Shift V. I don't know. It's a Control V. It's it's interesting because if I do Control V, it tells me to do this other thing to paste. No, if you, if you do it Control Shift V, it will just paste it as a plain text. I know, but I, if I once I have to hit two buttons and then a third button, <laughs> you've lost me. Like those shortcuts have almost no utility. I need. Shortcuts that have more utility than that. Okay. This is my own idiot yep. issues. Value for a project to be part of a lot. Yeah, that was uh, assigned to Nico. So okay, thought, let yeah. that be. And um, organizational focus area. That is the next uh, two things which were discussed last time and were deferred needs to be worked on. Like what I assume this. Do these have any these, these are just met? blank just blank, blank. okay yeah all right so for the next for the next meeting yeah. we can work um, on these uh and towards. then the fair metric as well yeah. so we have four in pipeline that needs to be worked on wow somebody's really fancy oops oops But then I think maybe we try to come back to this uh, fair metric. Yeah. Yep. Software and it's really software citations. And I'll keep I'll keep my action item on that so that I'm yep. accountable. I think that would then be the. Yep. And then obviously and Nico's did. stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You can put Nico, if Nico's here, his stuff can go first. Yep. And um, it looks like we have two standard, I like, I mean, this is a very well done agenda. I like this, these two standard items at the bottom here. Yep. I always keep them at the bottom. Like if something is not there, then we can work on those things. All right. I guess we are good. And yeah, um, eight minutes. Give ourselves two or three minutes back. Yep. Sounds good to me. Yep. Me too. Okay. Th uh, thanks, everybody. This, this was Thank actually you. a kind of a fun working meeting. I learned a lot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and we got stuff done. Got yeah, I know. <laughs> when all that happens together, what an amazing thing. All right. I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>
Goodbye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.